academic achievement is a crucial part of the learning experience. Reports form a key component of that feedback. Here at East Barnet School we have invested time in designing and implementing an original reporting system to benefit our students. The report itself is part of a two-year project undertaken by staff to devise an exciting and innovative approach to teacher assessment that we've chosen to call learning ladders. The purpose of this video is twofold. The first aim is to offer an introduction to our learning ladders. The second is to provide guidance about the report so that parents can interpret the information accurately and therefore help support their child in the learning process. Our concept of learning ladders identifies the different stages or steps in learning from a starting point in year seven right through to the end of year 11 when students sit their GCSEs. The learning ladders are based on the principle that learning is cumulative, so over time students add to and build on their knowledge, understanding and skill, as well as their ability to use what they have learned. Subject learning ladders are used during lessons. They allow judgments to be made about a student's learning and as a tool to identify how to improve. In PE we use the learning ladder to inform students of how to progress. It also is a tool to facilitate self-assessment. In art we've actually changed um, the presentation of um, our homework marking so that it ties in with the school's new report system and uh, learning ladder. We found that this has made it a lot easier for students and parents to see just exactly how they're doing in the subject. A report is produced and printed as an A4 booklet for parents each term. On the front is an explanation of the colour-coded ladder. The report ladder is divided into three coloured sections. Foundation is blue, expected is grey and high is red. Foundation indicates that learning is lower than expected of students in the year group. Expected means a student's learning is similar to the majority of others in that year group. And high shows performance is above what is expected of students in the year group. The nine sections of the ladder are designed to reflect the predicted performance of a student in their exams at the end of year 11. A student on the red section of the ladder with sustained hard work throughout their time at East Barnet should achieve the top grades, for example GCSE grades 7 to 9. The grey section represents students likely to achieve the national average or slightly better grades, such as GCSE grades 4 to 6. The blue section represents students most likely to be awarded lower grades, like a GCSE grade 1 to 3. Students are becoming familiar with this assessment approach and are often involved in identifying their own position on a learning ladder and in identifying their own smart targets to improve. I like the layout of the new report because it's well spaced and each subject has its own space on the report. I also like the arrows pointing to where you are because it shows you how well you're doing in certain subjects in relation to your target. I like the three colours on the report because it feels more achievable than the numbers and I also like the colour scheme because having red it's more like a thermometer so red is red hot and it means good. I quite like the summary ladder at the back of the reports because it shows you where you are in all of your subjects on one ladder. It can show you the subjects you're quite good at and the ones you need to improve. Also, I like that we get a report each term because then it shows you your progress and if you're in a running to get a good grade. I like the layout of the report because it's a clear, easy visual to read and I prefer colours to numbers because you don't feel in competition with your friends. When students arrive at East Barnet School, they are set targets based on two things. Firstly, how well they performed in their assessments at the end of primary school. And secondly, the expected GCSE performance, which is calculated for us by the Department for Education. The targets are challenging, but they show the academic potential of each student. 
The biggest change to our assessment and reporting system is that targets are now fixed. They will not change year by year. Students are expected to work at their target term by term, instead of working towards their target at the end of each academic year. The target for each subject will stay the same. However, if it's exceeded by the student, it can be increased. So how do we know if a student is making progress if the target never changes? Each academic year, as students move up the school, put simply, the lessons get harder and what is expected of learning becomes more challenging. In order to stay at a target, a student will have to know and understand more and continue to work hard. Progress will have been made if a student stays on their target. The inside of the report booklet has information about a student's attainment and progress in each subject they are studying. Individual subject ladders show the target set in each one. This is clearly labelled and its position on the report ladder is shown with an arrow. The judgments made by teachers each term are also clearly mapped. The two arrows allow for an easy comparison between the target and the student's current attainment in each subject. In addition to the information shown on the colour-coded ladders, teachers make a termly judgement about a variety of characteristics which contribute towards good learning. This is called the student's learning profile. Judgements are made on a student's behaviour, effort in classwork, effort in homework, and in what we call their learning power, the ability to actively engage in the learning process and arrive punctually for lessons. We want all students to aim for good, if not excellence, in these areas. If improvement required or concern features on the report, then action needs to be taken by the student to improve performance. These judgments, in conjunction with the report ladder, should give a more complete picture about performance in lessons. If a student is underperforming, the learning profile should offer an indication as to why. Using two examples, let me show how to tell if a student is doing well in a subject. Student A has a target set in the red section of the ladder. This indicates that they have a high ability and the potential at the end of year 11 to gain a top GCSE grade. Their autumn term performance, however, is in the grey area. This means that the teacher has judged that the student is working in the expected ability range for the year group. The gap between the target and the autumn term teacher assessment shows underperformance by the student in this subject. Student B has a target in the blue section of the ladder. This is an indication of lower ability and that the student has limited potential to do well in the subject. Autumn term performance has been judged by the teacher to be at the same level as other students in the expected ability range. This represents overperformance based on the student's ability and they should be commended. Exceeding the target means that an aspirational target will now be set for student B to challenge him or her further. On the back of the report booklet is a summary of the student's performance in all subjects. At East Barnet School we provide students with three academic reports per year. This gives feedback to parents and encourages regular monitoring of performance. We encourage parents to help their child to improve further by regularly looking through subject books and folders and noting the feedback given by the teacher to the student. The marking of work should identify what went well and the next steps in learning. We want everyone to achieve their potential and to get the most out of their time spent here at East Barnet School. Our motto is I want to learn and our learning ladders are designed to help students do exactly that.